this year is a milestone. It's, it's, it's a big celebration. It's also a year of maturation. statement is music transforming lives. What we are trying to do is to reach a developmental potential. Nordoff Robbins Music Therapy is one of the most highly regarded forms of music therapy and has had an enormous impact on music therapy practitioners all over the globe. Nordoff and Robbins were uh, pioneers, uh, and Clive is still a pioneer. They went into sessions with the idea that something about the music is going to have an effect. If you're a client with a problem, or you're a child with a learning disability, or with autism, music then becomes another form of communication. We're known for our work with uh, children on the autism spectrum, uh, but we do work with all sorts of clients here, adult clients as well. to be involved musically, to have them enter a musical environment and to play there and to sing there and to function there allows them an opportunity to use the innate resources that they have that don't seem to be tapped in any other environment. So we have quite a history and a wonderful relationship with the Nordoff Robbins Center here. We bring three groups of children here to Nordoff Robbins Center each week. Our children come from really all five boroughs. <laughs> On Monday, we bring a group of children with hearing impairments. On Tuesday, a group of children with autism. And on Wednesdays, my class, a group of children with multiple disabilities. I have a son, Noah, who is just turning five years old. He was diagnosed with um, mild autism, PDD, when he was about two and a half. He has made tremendous, tremendous progress over the last two and a half years, and there's no question that that is in huge part as a result of the various therapies that he's had, um, and most definitely including the music therapy that he's had here at Nordoff Robbins. When he started, he wasn't even making eye contact. He was a child who was, you know, in, lost in his own little world. From the moment he started here, it was just like something just went off in his head. It's helped him more than anything just to connect. I think he made that connection with music and that in turn has allowed him to start to learn to verbalize. <laughs> anything else he found something that that he's good at that he loved and that he's good at and it gave him this tremendous amount of, of confidence which he didn't otherwise have one of the students that I feel has really grown tremendously from his participation here at Nordoff Robbins is a child named John Paul he had difficulty with certain behaviors being able to express this musical intelligence really helped modify his behavior Every week, he'd say, Kathy, I had fun in music. So it just had a tremendous impact on his sense of well-being, 
on developing appropriate social behaviors, as well as tremendous musical gift. And I really feel that was called forth here at North of Robbins. One of the really um, interesting things about this approach is rather than try to squelch a perseverative behavior, the therapist may pick up on this rhythm. And so the therapist may begin to change to go a little bit slower and will the child then start to react and interact with the therapist through music. The child starts to um, feel this moment of contact and connection and this behavior that has normally stayed as something that's perseverative can then become communicative. This means overcoming social deficits, communicative deficits, physical deficits, all kinds of conditions that make it a little more difficult for them to get along in the world. So that they relate better to people, they relate better to situations, and they have an overall confidence of, I don't need to withdraw. If it wasn't for NYU, we wouldn't be here at New York, in, in New York. NYU, uh, through Professor Barbara Hesser, uh, worked very hard to um, bring the North Robbins approach here. And uh, we have been housed here at New York University for the past 20 years. North Robbins Music Therapy consists not only of the work that's done with the clients in the session, but because each session is videotaped and reviewed later and indexed, it also consists of an exhaustive analysis and research component. Much of the clinical work that is studied uh, generates materials for teaching, and the courses that are offered to NYU students include uh, material that comes from the center, clinical work that comes from the center, research that is done at the center. The center has a a rich tradition of qualitative research and numerous scholarly publications that have had a tremendous impact on the field of music therapy as a whole. What we're doing currently is building upon that foundation by expanding into the area of quantitative research. Science and art are going to go hand in hand in a new way from this time onwards. And I want the center to be really very much a harbinger of that. One of the things that the future holds is continuing to introduce music therapy to different um, populations, different, different people in need. The Nordic Farmers approach has always been very international. The work attracts people from all over the world. This is really a very exciting time to be in music therapy. I'm involved in the center because I'm passionate about the work. I've seen the impact that it has on the clients and the lives of their families. Uh, the work is extraordinary and the results can be incredible. It's made such a tremendous difference to people's lives. And it isn't just the children, it's the parents. It makes a huge difference for the parents to see their children progressing um, in a way which they wouldn't necessarily do if they didn't have this opportunity with Nordoff Robbins. There's so much that we can do if we get the kind of support. We plan to expand our fundraising campaigns through a combination of philanthropy and special events. These people are here every day hands-on with these kids. I think it's wonderful. 
Okay. That, that's good. Look at this watch. I'll show you to do it. Look. Go. We really didn't know what to expect. Uh, we had seen a, a, a small video, but there's just no way of of anticipating, you know, the power of what's going on here. Ultimately, our goal is to be able to provide an annual budget of $1 million for the center. We intend to expand our donor base and develop a new generation of funders for the center. There's something in the human being in born, implanted in us as a species that is open to music, that needs music, that is fulfilled by music. So it's far more than entertainment. It's even more than cultural enrichment.